Welcome to lecture number 36 of the series Unreal 5 for Aquas and in this lecture we'll apply a media texture on the screen which will allow us to watch a video on this TV in real time okay so let's get started first of all what we need to do is we need to go into this content folder and create a new folder I'll rename this folder as movies Now you need to know one thing about the file path of this folder is that this is not a necessary file path for media assets. It is recommended by Unreal Engine for this specific file path in case you want to package your project. Okay. Let's open this folder. I'll open my get content menu and let's add a file media source. Now what we need to do is we need to copy the video that we want to display on the screen and then we'll paste that video in this movies folder by using the windows file explorer. Okay. So Let's minimize Unreal Engine. Let's say this is the video that I want to display on my screen. It's a 29 second MP4 file. Okay. So I'll press Ctrl C on my keyboard and I'll copy this video and let's open the movies folder. I can open this movies folder in my Windows File Explorer by going into the folder options and I'll select show in Explorer and it will open the movies folder in the Windows File Explorer. Okay. Now I'll press Ctrl V to paste that video and let's go back in Unreal Engine. Let's open this new media file source and let's open that video in the movies folder. Now what we need to do is we need to add a media player for our video. So I'll open my content menu and let's add a media player. I'll check this box and I'll press OK. Now when I'll add this media player in my content browser, it will add another file known as media texture. Okay. So now what we need to do is let's bring in a cube into the scene. I'll add a cube. Let's pull this up on Z axis. Now I'll apply this media texture on this cube. And when I'll apply this media texture on this cube, it will create another material in my content browser. Okay. So now I'll apply this new material on the screen. To watch this video in real time, we need to call the event in our level blueprint. Okay. So I'll open my level blueprint. If you don't know what blueprints are in Unreal Engine, blueprint is actually a different way of programming in Unreal, just like C++. It's a node based visual scripting method. Okay. Let's maximize this window. I'll delete these two. Okay. And let's create a variable. I'll rename this variable as TV. Okay. And now I'll select the variable type as media player. This one. Okay. Yeah. Now what we need to do is we need to bring in this variable into the event graph. Okay. And now let's add an event play node. And I'll attach this node uncheck this box I'll search for open source now I'll connect this node with the target and I'll select my new media file source this one okay yeah let's compile this now I'll select my TV variable and I'll select media player from this drop down menu. This one. Okay. Let's compile the blueprint. Now, before I select this play option, we need to do one more thing. Let's go into the plugins. We need to enable a plugin and let's search for Electra player and make sure you enable this plugin. Let's restart Unreal Engine. I'll save all of these. Let's open the level. Now I'll go into my movies folder. Okay. Let's open the media player. If I double click on this media we'll source. Form, and then we'll use those models for this pattern. Okay. So let's get started. First of all, let me select all of the objects with just the scale of this pad. Okay. I'll go into the modeling mode. Let me set the period point at the bottom. As you can see that we can play our video in Unreal's media player. 
and now I'll play this level. And now you can watch that video on this TV in real time, okay? If you are experiencing a similar problem in which you have to rotate your video texture or your video is not visible at all, that may be because of the static mesh on which you have applied the media texture, okay? So I'll press escape on my keyboard to stop the simulation and I'll just delete the static mesh and let's bring in a plane. Let's rotate this on X axis by 90 and let's place it on this TV. Yeah, okay. I'll pull this up on Z. I'll scale it down. Okay. Let's now scale this on Y axis. Yeah, okay. And now I'll apply this material on this mesh. Let's rotate this on Y axis. And now if I play my level, You can see that we can watch this video on our TV in real time, okay? Now if you want to play the audio in this video, for that what you need to do is, I'll select my static mesh. First let me press escape on my keyboard to stop the simulation and now I'll select this static mesh and let me drag this in here yeah and now I'll add a media sound component okay yeah and I'll drag this media player and drop it on this slot and now if I'll play my level I can also hear the audio, okay? And then we'll use those models for this pattern, okay? So let's get started. First of all, let me select all of the objects with just the scale of this pad, okay? So yes, in this lecture, we have successfully applied a media texture on our screen and we saw a video on this TV in real time, okay? Let me select these two. And let's move them on x-axis. Let's move them on Y. Yeah, okay. Yes. And I want to apply a path tracing glass material on this cupboard. So I'll select this window. I'll search for my glass material for path tracing and I'll apply this material on these windows. Yeah. So let's do one more thing. I'll search for this material and I'll apply this material on this object. Let's delete this cube. 
so yes that's it for this lecture in the next lecture we'll create a blowing curtain animation so i'll see you guys in the next one